Hi Virgo. So all I kept hearing is level up, level up, level up, level up, level up, level up, level up. So I don't know if y'all like that song by um, Sierra. But if not, this is something that you're going to be doing in the next couple of days, if not tomorrow, is leveling up. Thank you guys for tuning in to my channel. Please keep in mind that these readings are general and may or may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus for more insight. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you guys. Page of Wands. This is a spark of a new idea. Six of Cups could be something from the past. Page of Cups, but they're coming in to make an offer to you. Okay. Three of Wands, this is something you've probably been waiting for, or this person has been waiting for you. Uh, Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords. So this is somebody who has a lot of love, but they also got logic behind it too. They think it through. Well, this could be you. Virgos, they, they are logical. They think through everything. Maybe a bit too much. However, um, they also love very hard. So this could be you. You're confused about this love offer that you're getting? Why are you confused? Emperor? This person... This person might be too stern. You're like, I, don't, I can't read this person. Okay, so what is this um this new spark? What is this new spark? Oh, the fool. Someone wants to start something with you. Could be this past person. Why are you waiting? This is something that you've been stuck on. Okay. But they're coming to offer you something. But it's just every. It's like like this person might. You might not take this person seriously. It's like, are you kidding me? Because maybe what they're offering you or the love they're trying to show you is just so minute. Yeah, but I feel like this person. This person is petty too. Okay, that just turned pretty quickly. So why is? We have the six of wands. So maybe this person is a... I, I don't want to say they're an attention whore, but maybe they like your attention. They like the attention that you give them. And when you... This person... Help me understand this right here, spirit. Oh, so... This person sees, like, with you they can show off or they can do big things with them hearing but they're willing to wing you at all costs yeah but they're at a crossroads or maybe you are at a crossroads with them why yeah that's your card you're thinking you're trying see the hermit is looking at this abundant idea or maybe a baby like what the fuck yeah a relationship hmm see you want a relationship with this person yeah because you see this person is your person but you don't feel like it's balanced a card flips yeah but either you're holding on to the idea of it or you're holding back either way that means you're still holding on to it because if you're holding back then that means you're still holding something very dear to your heart the lovers an idea uh the choice to be with who you want to be with or move on Okay, but with the Ten of Cups here, I feel like you're going to decide to stay with them. Uh, give me some energy on this person that's coming towards my Virgo. Give me some energy for the person that's coming towards my Virgo. The world. The Queen of Cups. and it, We got this twice. The King and the Queen of Swords. This is definitely a mismatched couple. Somebody is too stern and somebody is showing entirely a lot of love. I'm not going to say too much. It's never too much love, but they are too stern. And with the world card here, I feel like this Queen of Cups is willing to offer the world to this King of Swords, but he's not even looking. Yeah, this this person is barely even talking to you. This person, this person might be a night person. I don't know why I picked that up, but they might come to see you at night a lot. But with the Hermit to the Seven of Cups, this person went with them because they were confused too. 
Oh, bus. This person is not ready for anything stable yet, uh, Virgo. And you're offering them stuff, or maybe a relationship, and they're like, I just, I don't want to look at it. I don't want to deal with this. Yeah, and they feel stuck. They're just waiting to see what's going to happen with the Wheel of Fortune. More for this person. But your intuition is telling you to leave this person behind and go do something else. But this person keeps coming back telling you that they want to offer something to you. But this person is coming back for sex. Maybe a little money too. Yeah, we got the six of wands here twice. This person likes the attention as you give them. They don't want anything stable, serious, or committed just yet. Yeah, but you know that already. Nine of wands, and that's stressing you out. All right. So what do we have for the outcome here? Outcome for my uh, Virgo. Outcome for my Virgo. Outcome for my Virgo, please. Chariot, I see you moving forward with what? Oh, you're moving forward to happiness? Maybe a Leo? But there's still going to be some issues because this person is still giving you this little ass coin. Little ass effort. Okay. Advice? Let the tower fall so it can rebuild. Yeah, be in control of your emotions. Nine of Swords again at the bottom of the deck. Work is, I mean, focus on not stressing yourself out so much too. Whatever the fuck this is, it's not worth your mind and your energy to be off like that. All right, thank you.